Jagan Mosley, please raise your hand with, and I'll call on you. State your name and your affiliation prior to your question. Um, right up to the top. Um, you know, Creighton is a good team. Um, uh, they've been playing great. They were ranked. Uh, you know, our guys fought. You know, Mac, uh, Terrell, they both were sick. They haven't practiced in, in three days. Um, you know, I thought that we showed a lot of uh, character in the, in the fact that we you know, they 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 wouldn't stop. They were they were relentless. They were making making shots. But you know, our defense uh, intensity stepped up in the second half. Where we didn't the shots that they got, they weren't. It wasn't as easy as it was in the first half. Right here, um, coach. Talk about Pickett's job on twenty four. He held them largely scoreless, or you guys held them largely scoreless until the last minute or so. For three minutes or so. It's, it's like it's, this was a great team win. Uh, Jamalco played his, his butt off. Both he and Jagan. The, I, you know, Jamalco, he got a, maybe a minute or two uh, of rest. Jagan played the whole game. Uh, you know, Jamalco only he scored nine points, but I thought he, he, he was effective defensively. Uh, he, he had six rebounds. He could have probably could have had more, but, you know, I'll take the six and I'll take the W. Dave Preston, WTOP Radio. Coach, you guys shot 56% from the field in the second half. What do you guys feel you were able to take advantage of in the second half? We got good shots. We got him near the ball. He was able to, to make good plays. When they doubled him, he was able to kick the ball out and find, and find guys. Guys stepped up and were able to make shots. Jen Rodriguez, C980. Uh, Coach, what can you say about Seven's uh, overall presence? Who? You know, I think the the best is still yet to come. He had a pretty good game today. He made some mistakes, um, but I'm a tough man to please. I see the potential in him, and I see where he could be. He just has to continue to continue to growth, continue to work, and stop taking some some time off. Cut that hair. <laughs> no, but I thought that he played extremely well for us. Um, he did make some mistakes, but uh, he was great on the glass. He uh, he got points. He kicked the ball out. He got three assists. Um, he only got two block shots. I thought he should have had a couple more, but he played great. Right here. Yo, Sucker, just talk about your confidence coming out of a game like this. Uh, I think as a team, uh, we had a slow start, and it was just like, all right, everybody has to get going. Like we have only seven, eight guys that can step up and like they get the job done, and uh, that was it. Like my focus was just all right. I got to do my role. I got to do my part, and trust my teammates. They'll do theirs. And you know, Terrell and um, Mac, they did a huge job. And you know, you can see from the what is it that plus and minus that um, they had a big impact on the game. And um, Jagan defended. Um, 40 minutes nonstop, so he was really big on his part. And he needs to get some rest you know, on Saturday. <laughs> and uh, but no, I think it was just like the guys trusted in me, especially on that pick and roll, short roll. Uh, him trusting on me in the, in, the, in the last four minutes, you know, dumping it off and me making a shot. It was just it comes from the teammates. Back here. Bobby Mangrove, Fisher, and Press. Jagan, how important was that early run you guys had to get on top? And then just as a senior, snapping along, losing to Creighton, beating a ranked team, just the run and then the importance of the actual win. I feel like in the Big East, it's really important to throw the first punch. You know, we get behind for oh, every team is good, so you get behind against good teams, it's hard to get back. So we definitely want to uh, throw the first punch, especially in home. We want to protect, protect our home court. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Throwing the, throwing the first punch and then sustaining the lead for the rest of the game. Right. Ava and Aiden. Um, Jay, you guys had a good Um, we didn't we didn't break down. You know, I think against Nova, we kind of broke down as a team today. I think we were up nine, and then it went the eight on run, but we didn't we didn't break after that. We kind of came together and closed the game out. Dave Kerr, twenty four seven Sports. Jagan, freshman year, you were shooting twenty four percent from the three point range. You're shooting close to fifty percent now this year. What do you credit to that transformation? Just getting shots up. I'm getting more shots about the practice every day. I think freshman year, I'll just leave the gym after practice. So just staying in the gym, working with Coach Nav and Coach Brian and all the coaching staff.
And coach, if I may, what has Mosley's transformation of three point shooter done to help your team's offense? You're asking me about, to me, he's our MVP. Um, as you've seen today, we couldn't even take him off the floor. And not only the shooting, but everything. The de uh, his defending, his uh, passing, his rebounding. Uh, he's doing everything for us, and he's right. The reason, he, you know, one of the things, when I first got the job, I kept telling him, take your shot. If you're open, take your shot. I see you in the gym working on it, so make sure, you know, if you're open, raise up and take the shot, and he's been doing it. I try to make sure that he knows that I believe in him, and he's paying off. Uh, Ron. Ron Bailey, HoyReport.com. Coach, how important was it to control the tempo and doing so, getting back on defense, but making them put, take the ball out of the basket so they couldn't really get racing down the floor? Well, that's a big thing. We weren't doing a good job of getting back in the first half. They were, I think they had 12 fast break points at, at halftime. I thought we did a much better job of getting back in the second half and was also be able to set our defense. And yes, we were scoring. Um, you know, we, when we're scoring, we can score. Um, but sometimes we, we take uh, the defensive and uh, take it over on the defensive, but tonight we didn't. We did both. And last question goes to the AP. Um, you mentioned Terrell was sick at the end of the game. From my vantage point, I couldn't see what happened. Can you kind of just fill us in on what happened to Terrell? Well, I was looking at the game, and then I, he, he said he was feeling nauseous um, because he's, he's been out three days. Um, he got an IV after the game. Uh, he was feeling like he was going to throw up, so uh, he went out. Um, and I guess he was looking for somebody to throw up, and then he just laid out. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's feeling a lot better. Thank you, everyone.